Why is it that an Australian citizen facing prosecution by a European country decides to appeal for asylum to a South American Republic? And the reason for that is that for the last 10 to 15 years now, huge changes have been taking place in South America. And these changes are very interesting. For a whole while, as many of you will know, South America was governed by military dictatorships of one sort or the other, backed by the United States and its European partners, and allowed to do whatever they wanted. <coughs> They were taught how to torture, they were taught how to kill, and they carried on doing it till the changes began. And the changes began for social and economic reasons, it should be pointed out. The changes began when the people in Venezuela who were the first said enough, enough of IMF regulations, enough of World Bank rules, we don't like neoliberalism, we don't, <coughs> we don't like the way our oligarchs are running this country, we don't want to live in a world where everything is privatized, where there are no public sector engagements. That is what started it off. <coughs> and there have been more elections in Venezuela than in any other country of the world since that time. Referendums launched against, won by the Bolivarians. A new constitution in which a population has the right, if it so wishes, to get signatures so that an elected president can be recalled way beyond the next election is due. All this had happened. <coughs> and that Venezuelan model in different ways spread all over the world. It spread to Bolivia. It spread to Ecuador. <coughs> it spread for a while to Paraguay, to Honduras. It had a huge impact in Brazil. And we don't have the world of the West now in many, many South American countries. What do they do? They have oil wealth. They have other wealth. They don't allow it to go to the fat cats. <coughs> they don't allow it to go to bankers. They spend it on free education. They spend it on hospitals. They have created new universities free of charge for poor kids. <coughs> they refuse to follow the Western model where everything is privatized, including the armies and including the police force now we hear. Everything is being privatized, for somehow these people feel it's better. The train system is privatized here. In South America, they're trying to construct a new one. And so these social, radical social democratic governments in South America are today, in my opinion, offer more social and human rights to their citizens than the countries of Europe, leave alone the United States. <clears throat> And that is why Julian Assange applies for asylum to Ecuador. 